The Belt and Road Initiative BRI, is China's ambitious global development strategy aiming to enhance international connectivity and cooperation. It involves infrastructure development and investments in countries across Asia, Europe, Africa, and beyond. The initiative seeks to create economic corridors and improve trade routes, echoing the historic Silk Road. It has been incorporated into the Chinese Communist Party's constitution, reflecting its significance to China's foreign policy and global ambitions. Despite challenges, the BRI aims for completion by 2049, coinciding with the centennial of the People's Republic of China, with ongoing adjustments to include sustainable and green projects. The Belt and Road Initiative BRI, is not just about infrastructure, it also encompasses strategic partnerships and cultural exchange. A prime example is the Hambantota International Port in Sri Lanka. It quickly became Sri Lanka's second largest port, handling 1.8 million tons of cargo by 2020. Strategically located along critical shipping routes near the Indian Ocean, the port was leased to China for 99 years, integrating Sri Lanka into the 21st century maritime Silk Road. This lease symbolizes China's long-term investment approach and strategic alignment within the BRI. The move has enhanced Sri Lanka's position in global trade, potentially relieving pressure on the port of Colombo and providing services to ships along a crucial maritime route. But the Belt and Road Initiative's scope extends beyond infrastructure. It has also played a significant role in promoting cultural and academic exchanges. Between 2010 and 2018 the number of international scholarship students from BRI countries studying in China noticeably increased, reflecting China's ambitions to foster international cooperation and cultural exchange. This growth illustrates how the initiative is enhancing educational ties and promoting mutual understanding through cultural and academic collaboration. Before we proceed we encourage you to consider liking the video to show your support for our channel. Additionally, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback is invaluable and will help us reach a wider audience. Thank you for your support. As of 2024, the initiative encompasses a vast network that touches one-third of world trade and GDP and over 60% of the world's population, highlighting its extensive reach and impact on global economics and infrastructure development. The Belt and Road Initiative BRI, has launched over 3,000 infrastructure projects across the globe, with major investments in Africa, Europe, the Caucasus and Asia. These projects span various sectors including transportation, energy and digital infrastructure, aiming to enhance connectivity and development. Significant projects include the development of ports, railways and highways, such as the El Hamdania Central Port in Algeria, the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, the Maputo Katembe Bridge in Mozambique, and the Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway in Kenya. The China Europe Railway Express has significantly expanded since its inception, connecting over 50 cities in mainland China with 217 cities across 25 European countries. It operates through three major corridors Eastern, Central, and Western, facilitating exports from various regions of China to Europe. By 2023, it transported 1.9 million TEUs, highlighting its growing importance in global trade. The initiative also emphasizes green energy, with China canceling coal power projects totaling 36 gigawatts since 2021 to support sustainable development. The CRE marks its 10th anniversary in 2023, having operated 77,000 freight trains and transported goods valued at over $340 billion in 7.31 million TEUs. Initiatives to increase efficiency include pre-scheduled timetables on five routes with 80 services launched. In the first half of 2023, the maximum load capacity of a single freight train increased to 3,000 tons and the variety of goods carried expanded to over 50,000 types. Following the expansion and achievements of the China Europe Railway Express, international reactions have varied. Notably, the US has announced its own initiative to counter the influence of the Belt and Road Initiative. On September 9, 2023, at the G20 Leaders event, the U.S. unveiled the India-Middle East Europe Economic Corridor, or IMEC. This initiative aims to link key regions through infrastructure, offering an alternative to China's expansive projects. Unlike the BRI, the IMEC places a significant focus on digital infrastructure, financial integration, and environmental sustainability. The U.S. seeks to bolster trade, increase supply chain resilience, 
and offer an alternative to existing roots and influences. This initiative marks a strategic attempt to reshape regional economic landscapes, propelling a new era of infrastructural competition. However, as ambitious as the IMEC may be, significant challenges remain. Questions regarding financing, timeline, and overall viability continue to cloud this new initiative. Will the IMEC be able to match the scale and impact of the BRI? Time will tell. As the geopolitical landscape continues to evolve, so too will the strategies of global powers, with infrastructure playing a critical role in this high-stakes game of international influence. In the wake of the Belt and Road Initiative's extensive infrastructure projects and the emerging India-Middle East-Europe Economic Corridor, critics and supporters of the BRI have voiced their perspectives. Critics warn of potential debt traps for participating countries, citing concerns about transparency in project bidding and loan terms favoring Chinese interests. There are fears that BRI investments could lead to economic dependency on China, with some projects facing opposition due to high costs and sovereignty implications. Additionally, there's skepticism about BRI's environmental sustainability, particularly regarding the financing of carbon-intensive power generation projects. On the other hand, supporters of the BRI see it as a catalyst for economic growth and international cooperation. In regions like Latin America and the Caribbean, the initiative is viewed as a worthwhile gamble that could yield long-term commercial relationships with China and other global partners. They argue that the risk of debt issues triggered by Chinese lending is limited compared to the potential economic benefits. The BRI is also seen globally as part of China's broader strategic ambitions to create a more equitable world order and enhance its geopolitical influence, particularly in the global south. This vision is underscored by a strong Sino-Russian partnership, coordinating on geopolitical and economic fronts to counter Western pressures. Proponents of the BRI also emphasize its potential to deliver economic development while preserving environmental quality through initiatives like the Green Belt and Road. They argue that the BRI's scale and reach into high carbon-emitting countries make it a critical player in global environmental preservation efforts. Lastly, supporters often highlight the BRI's infrastructure projects, particularly its six economic corridors, as key to connecting countries for mutual benefit. Despite implementation challenges and debt concerns, the aim remains to enhance infrastructure connectivity and development across participating countries. As the geopolitical landscape continues to evolve, the debate around the BRI and its counterparts like the IMEC intensifies. It remains to be seen how these initiatives will reshape the global economy and power dynamics in the coming years. As we conclude our exploration of the Belt and Road Initiative BRI, it's clear that this ambitious project has the potential to significantly reshape global economic relationships and development strategies. Its impressive scope, comprising a vast network of infrastructure projects and economic corridors, emphasizes China's commitment to fostering international connectivity and cooperation. The BRI's reach extends to a large portion of the world's GDP, trade, and population, making it a monumental force in global economic development. Key projects such as the China-Europe Railway Express and strategic ports like the Hambantota International Port underscore China's commitment to creating efficient trade routes that are poised to redefine the dynamics of global commerce. Moreover, the BRI's influence isn't limited to infrastructure, it also fosters cultural and academic exchanges, strengthening educational ties and fostering mutual understanding among nations. This intercultural exchange is an integral part of the BRI's vision for a more interconnected and cooperative global community. However, critics of the BRI express concerns about potential debt traps and environmental sustainability, calling for increased transparency and responsible practices. They warn of the possible economic dependency on China and the potential for high costs and sovereignty implications. On the other hand, supporters view the BRI as a catalyst for economic development and international cooperation. They see it as a strategic geopolitical move, particularly beneficial for regions keen to enhance their connectivity and economic prospects. They argue that the risk of debt issues triggered by Chinese lending is limited compared to the potential economic benefits. As the BRI continues to evolve, balancing its ambition with sustainable and equitable development practices will be crucial. Its success or failure could redefine the global economic landscape, offering invaluable lessons on international cooperation, development finance, 
and the integration of sustainability into large-scale infrastructure projects. The legacy of the BRI, still unfolding, promises to be a defining narrative in the story of 21 saint century globalization. It sets a precedent for future initiatives aimed at fostering global development and cooperation. The BRI's future prospects and implications will undoubtedly continue to be a topic of keen interest and debate in the years to come. Hope you find this video informative. Do not forget to leave your thoughts in the comment. Thank you for watching.